Hi, this is a short video looking at the correlation between process monitor, Microsoft process monitor traces and Wireshark traces. So to cre create the data I have Acrobat Reader here and I simply opened this particular file from within Acrobat Reader and that file was actually uh, residing on a remote server and uh, so I just uh, opened the file across the network. Let's take a look at the uh, process monitor trace. So you can see that I've added some filters in here. So one thing I've done is I've disabled the filter that excludes uh, system events. That's because uh, the network traffic associated with remote file access, the uh, file redirector on the PC that I was using, that activity is actually logged against the system process because it's part of the uh, entos kernel code and then also i've excluded dump cap and wireshark because i'm not really that interested in um, the entries associated with those and i've also excluded any operations that begin with the letters reg and that means that effectively I've filtered out all of the registry entries all the the registry operations so this is the actual file so let's start by actually finding the first read file so that's for a, um, a DLL and that's not what I'm interested in so I hit F3 to repeat the find and now we get to the area that I'm really interested in so here you can see I'm reading the file the PDF that was opened in Acrobat Reader and it resides on this device ADV222. Now if we go back up to the top here uh, we should be able to find the point where this file was opened. Um, we can see lots of other activity. There's the actual open for the file. These, this here just out of interest, this is, these are attempts to open the file as an offline uh, file in the offline folder um, and you can see that it repeatedly keeps trying and, and that operation repeatedly fails. So this is the open that we're interested in. Create file with a disposition here of open. So you can see the disposition actually listed there in the highlighted box. Okay so that happened at 1752.15249 15, so let's go to the actual network trace you can see that I've pre-filtered this with um, the SMB2 filter um, I have uh, a create request there so let me just check 249 okay so if we look here the, here's the actual uh, command or the the operation as issued by acro read 32.exe and then you see here the actual request that flows across the network and you can see that that flows at 1752.15.255 and here we have um, the actual network operation at 1752.15.250 so we have a 5 millisecond difference between um, the Wireshark trace and the process monitor trace and bizarrely the process monitor trace is, is leading the Wireshark trace by 5 milliseconds. Uh, what you do find when you're matching up Wireshark and process monitor is you do get these discrepancies um, between the timing and I, I think it's something to do with the clock that's used in Wireshark. We see the open request here and the response, the uh, corresponding response, um, just to show you so if we back up to the uh, request you can see that this clearly says disposition open. So that's our request and if we look at the length of that request it's 404 bytes and if we look at the request in this trace it's 404 bytes and if we look at the response it's 332 and if we see, look at the response here it's 332. So that all looks good let's now go to the read command again 
So what we see here is that we're reading from an, uh, uh, from an offset of zero into the file we're reading 4K basically 4096 bytes and if we come down in the network trace we see we have a read request just here of with an offset of zero and a length of 4096 so that all matches up quite nicely and if we look at the corresponding network activity something to notice here if you notice that the read request is at this point here but the corresponding network activity happens afterwards so this proves that this read request is showing the, the timestamp on this is showing the time the read was issued not the time that the read completed and I found that um, different types of commands seem to use the end point or the uh, or the start point of the operation but in this case it's the start point so we can prove that this is the correct TCP send because you see that we have a length there of 117 and if we look here we have a length here of 117 now the re interesting thing here is the read response we can see that the read response is split across four different packets and it has a total payload or a total uh, assembled length of 4180 bytes and if you add up the headers of the Ethernet, IP, TCP, NetBIOS and SMB headers what you find is that comes to 84 bytes and if you take 84 bytes off of this you get 4096 so that matches up quite nicely but there's something a little strange in the actual trace we see that we have a read that completes for 1260 bytes first and then we have a read that completes for 4096 and I believe the reason for this is because the uh, code issues an initial TCP receive uh, for 1260 bytes but of course the uh, response is going to be more than that and so eventually the um, the, ca the file system has to issue another receive and this time it issues it for 4k and then that completes and um, we read in all the data so that all looks good but what I, w I wanted to show you one more thing if we come down towards the end of this file towards the last reads um, this read here we have a read it's an offset of 0 and a length of 8 but we don't actually have any corresponding network traffic um, this network traffic is associated with the fact that at that point we close the file so why is that let's, let's just check that against the trace actually before we move on 1752.16 16534 so if it was going to be if there were if there were a read in here it would be somewhere around this point but we can see that the previous read was for 45056 bytes and we can see that read just there so we can see the previous one but we don't actually see this one and the reason is because this read is being satisfied out of the cache. So I hope that helps and I look forward to speaking to you soon.